Guys, on today's show, we are throwing down some breakfast burritos on the Pit Boss Ultimate 5 Burner Griddle with a Wall Twins twist. Guys, my name is Tommy, and you have reached the Gallery Backyard Barbecue. And look, man, this is going to be a fun cook. Everybody likes a burrito because they are simple to make, and you can add in it what you want. I am going to keep it basic today, but again, we have that Wall Twins twist. And if it works for me like it worked for them, it'll take these next level through the roof. And look, if it doesn't work for me like it worked for them, I'll be giving them a phone call. <laughs> look, we got some prep work to do as I uh, show you here on the uh, board what we're working with. Let's get this prep work out of the way, and then I'll meet you guys at the griddle. Guys, this video is brought to you by Femi. You've seen me use their products in the past. They are, uh, they are good products at affordable prices. I'll link the Amazon store down below and also see if I can throw a coupon down in there. Again, blenders, mixers, choppers. I've used all three of them and all three of them gave great results. For a job like this, if you've got the uh, choppers and the uh, uh, mixers, it is nice to have the uh, mixer. You can do the eggs by hand, but uh, you want to emulsify your uh, peppers and onions. So you want to get a really, really good uh, chop on it that really only a chopper can give you. So look, that leads us right into this pro tip right here. You want to quarter your stuff before you put them in your chopper. And again, and I, I've said it before and I'll say it again in this recipe, you want to emulsify as best as possible the onions and the uh, peppers because that is going to go into liquid form on the griddle and it is going to take your burrito up to the next level. Trust me. See, the uh, chopper makes quick work of this. So look, again, I want to thank Femi for sponsoring this video. Check down below for a coupon and maybe I uh, look forward to a giveaway with these guys coming in the uh, in the near future on the bacon you want to just do slices man just kind of chunk them up one by ones whatever i think they go best in a uh in a type cook that we're doing here oh yeah all right guys look man i don't use choppers blenders mixers and so forth too much on the show but look when you've got a lot of prep work to do it definitely comes in handy just quarter out your veggies, get them in the chopper. One, two, three, you're all done. And look, on a recipe like this, I like that real fine chop on my peppers and onions. It just does something when you put them on the griddle with the butter, with the oil. It kind of emulsifies them all together. And then when you wrap them up in your uh, burrito, it is kind of magic. So we'll see that in a little bit different. Otherwise, man, we are all set. Let's get over to the griddle and start griddling. So look, this aims to be a fun one for sure. First up, we will get our bacon down and we will cook it to about 85, 90%. It'll stay on the, uh, on the griddle the whole time. We'll just move it over to a cool zone. Guys, it, is, uh, it helps to have the right tools while you're working these griddles. And I have all this stuff down in the show notes down below. If you don't have this scraper right here, definitely want to pick one up. And look, I am using a metal spatula on this uh, a griddle. I am very, very careful to use it. So look, if you're going to use one, use them at your own risk. I do have some tools coming from Bit Boss at that time. I'll just continue with this. So 
So look, any time you got that much food on the uh, griddle, you definitely want to get that more surface, uh, surface area heated up as we salt and pepper our peppers and onions. Dab it with a little butter. Get our sausage on. Oh, yeah. oh. I mean, look, man, there's really not much to do with this, uh, with this cook. We got a couple different things working out on the griddle, no big deal. And we got our griddle on a medium across the board at about 350 to 400. And there is that surface area I was talking about. You don't want to clump it all up in one area, kind of spread it out, let it all cook. And you could kind of see those uh, peppers and onions kind of gelling all together, man. That is the, uh, that all helps in that chop that I was talking about before. It really does make a difference in a dish like this as everything just tastes so moist. So look, we will incorporate all those flavors together right there. We will move it off into the cool zone and we will move our sausages and finish them up over in the hot zone. Guys, another little key in this cook here, and one of the things I've noticed this Pit Boss Ultimate Criddle does well, and that is puts the sear down, man. That oh, is flavor yeah. right there, and that is what you definitely want to strive for in a recipe like this. Another thing I'd like to point out before I turn this over to the uh, Till I get the eggs on, I like to leave my uh, sausages chunked out like that. It just adds a little texture into the uh, burrito and with the smoothness of the uh, egg and the smoothness of the uh, onion and pepper, it adds that texture, that chunk that I like. So a little quick cleaning before we introduce the eggs to the griddle and also you want to drop that temp down and we are out under 300 on the uh, surface and that is a, a nice temperature to get your eggs going. Oh yeah. Wow. Oh, man, I love cooking eggs on this griddle. Ain't nothing sticks. You can't make it up. Oh, yeah. Boy, these burritos are fun, man. There are so many things you can add into them and uh, do to them. So many different flavors you can get. So look, at this time, what I'm gonna do is incorporate everything together, get everything on a uh, plate and uh, make up a burrito. And also I got that Wall Twins twist coming up. So look, I am definitely not Mr. Burrito Maker. If you want to learn how to do the fold properly, there are plenty, plenty of videos on YouTube. Oh yeah, oh, it's my best rendition. Although I must say, that ain't half bad. 
So there you go, man. There is the uh, Wall Twins twist coming up. And basically that is getting yourself a cheese skirt down, putting your burrito on it, crossing your fingers, and hope it folds all together. Now look, once you see those uh, those ends browning up, man, it is cross your fingers and fold away. Oh yeah, oh. And I'd say those wall twins are safe for now. Good job. All right. Guys, look, we will uh, cut these open really, really quick, and then we will take it in for a quick live taste test. I can tell you this was, uh, the wife said this was one of the uh, best things that I've made on the griddle yet, and I have to tell you, man, I agree with her, man. The the flavors in this thing, man, was, was just through the roof. I mean, it was an explosion for sure. Look, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell, because you don't want to miss what I got coming up next on the griddle. All right, guys, I'd say that was a, uh, a pretty cool reveal. What I'm gonna do here is jump in on this cheesy one first and get a, uh, get a little uh, bite of this bad boy. Cheers. Mm. Oh. oh, man. <laughs> guys, I gotta say, man, I was pretty shocked when I bit into that. It is juicy inside, man. It is, uh, wow. I don't know if that's the, uh, if that's the oil from the cheese just kind of mixing in with the, uh, with the mixture with the uh, peppers and, and eggs and bacon and sausage that I put in there, but that's a 10 out of a 10, man. There is no doubt about it, man. Mm. Well, so look, I can tell you it's not the, it's not the oil uh, mixed in because this thing was juicy also, man. There's, there's a lot of flavor in this thing with the, uh, with the peppers and the, uh, and the bacon and the sausage. It's all out front, man. Perfect amount of salt and pepper. I would go either way on these bad boys. I would, I would make them plain and I would also make them with, this, uh, with the cheese. Again, just pay for a better cheese. Because uh, these are dynamite, man, and these are better than anything that you can, uh, you know, go to a, a restaurant or a diner or whatever and purchase, man. These are friggin' good. Mm -hmm. You know, real quick before I uh, shut this one down, a lot of the flavor definitely comes from these little sausage nuggets, especially with the chard, with the uh, with the little burn mark on the um, a sausage. You definitely can taste that, and I like that. So look, man, I'm going to close this one out by rolling my Patreons and YouTube join members. If you have any interest in purchasing this Pit Boss Ultimate Griddle, I got links down below. If you use those links, it throws a couple shekels to the channel. Either or, I definitely do appreciate you guys watching. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. So far, I am digging everything about this uh, Ultimate Griddle. It is super easy to keep clean. Heats nice and evenly across the surface. 10 out of 10 as far as I'm concerned. And until next time, we will see you soon.